Thomas's Wooden Adventures. Episode 30, Snow. Snow had come in thickly on the island of Sodor, and some of the engines were getting sick of it already. Ah, uh, God. What's the matter, Zach? Ugh. I was meant to be going to collect those trunks of beer, but now we can't because we're snowed in. I mean, it could be worse. How? I mean, we do have some alcohol. Really? Where? Just outside the shed. Gimme! What's he saying? Fish a bat? Pull him out? Oh, pull him out. Right, that's it. Okay. I'm never trying that again. James was pulling a parcels train when... Oh, look, a set of buffers. I should really stop. Oh, God, it's icy. Wow! Even Donald and Douglas were struggling to clear the snow. Diesel 10 had been struggling, clearing all of the debris that the snow was causing. One day, the yard manager came to see the Scottish twins. You two have been told to take a goods train up to Barrow. I said, we won't let you down. You may need a banker. Uh, and now we'll, we'll be fine. Don't worry about it. All right, what do I know? Not like I've just been, I don't know. Right, let's go, come on. Right behind you. Soon the two had buffered up and were ready to go. They had to get moving quickly as the train was blocking up sidings. Lost six, this train's a monster. Come on, we can do it. Well, I never said I was worried. And so the Caledonian twins set out with the monstrously large freight train. Soon their run was underway, but because of how slowly they're going, they forgot about the hill. Oh no, doggy, the hill! Oh, done. The two barely started up the hill before they rolled back down again. Let's get a good run up. Right. So the two backed up, and with all their might, charged at the incline. They got a little further before stalling again and rolling back down. Oh, done. How are we going to tackle this hill? They pondered how they'd get up the hill, but their answer soon came. All right there, you two. Oh, Diesel fan, are we glad to see you? We need your help. What could you need my help with? We're trying to get up the hill, but we can't. Uh, hmm. You know what? I'll help you out. Really? Yeah, of course. Why not? So Diesel 10, using the power plot convenience, got turned around and buffered onto the train. Right, come on, let's go! And so they began the ascent. As the hill came into view, Diesel 10 gunned at his engine. The sudden tug startled Douglas and he slammed on his brakes. Darn it, what happened? Oh, I'm so sorry. I actually slammed on my brakes. I was taken aback by the impact. That's all right. Let's try again. So the two back down the hill. All right, give it real gun, okay? Don't get startled. I'm very powerful. Let's try this again. And so the cavalcade started back up and charged the incline down. They struggled and struggled. They were doing very, very well and were nearly up the hill when there was a crack from Douglas. Oh no, we were so well too. We're nearly at the ascent. We're nearly at the summit of the hill. What happened? One of my cylinders is cracked. I can't, we can't do this on one cylinder. 
All right, we'll have to try. I know the rails are icy. It's gonna be slippery, but come on, Donald, we can do this. I don't see how we're gonna take the weight of this whole train plus my brother. Well, if he's got one cylinder still, he can use that to give us some steam. Douglas, you got to give it all you've got. I'll try. The three came back to the bottom, stared the incline hard down, and gunned it. With engines roaring and side rods straining, the cavalcade began to slow as they reached the summit again. No, 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 come on! We've done it! We've done it! We're at the summit! Let's go! We did it! Thank you, Diesel 10 and the train charged down the other side of the hill. The rest of the run was uneventful. The train ran smoothly, and the train pulled triumphantly into Barrow. Well done, you three. Very, very good. Sure. I'll take the train on from here. Don't you worry about it. Thanks, Falcon. I really need the rest, and Suddenly, there was a spluttering. Ah, oh, my engines died. I'll tell you what, don't worry about it. We'll give you a tour to the works. Come on. Vulcan set out at the station with the freight train. And then Diesel 10 was shunted into the works. The two decoupled from him and came alongside. You're really not as bad as people say, you know. You're really strong. Why, thank you. I try my best. No, seriously. We really needed you out there. You could have easily declined us like a lot of diesel engines do, but you had the courage to give it a go. Well, I guess so. You're a really useful engine, Diesel 10. Don't let anybody tell you different. And Diesel 10 smiled as the Caledonian twins puffed away.